Hello everyone, welcome back. In this presentation, let's see rapid fire quiz in ER model. You may take 20 seconds to answer each question. Let's step into question number one. Here it is. Given an instance of the student's relation as shown below. There is a relation given. The name of the relation is students. We have rows and column. The question is for student name and student age to be a key for this instance. The value should not be equal to dash. This question was asked in Gate Computer Science in the year 2014. To make things visible, let me highlight key things. Your 20 seconds starts now. Stop. If you observe, student name alone cannot be a key because Shankar is repeated multiple times. Shankar is duplicated here. Swati is also duplicated here. So, this alone cannot be a key. As per the question, we want the student name and student age to be a key. So, we need uniqueness in the key. If you observe Shankar with X, we are going to determine X. Swati 19 is there, unique. Shankar 19 is there, unique. Swati 18 is there. Of course, it is unique because previously it is Swati 19. Now it is Swati 18. So it's a unique value. Ganesh 19 is also unique. So definitely student name and student age cannot be a key. So X should not be 19 if student name and student age to be a key. So the right answer for this question is 19. Let's step into question number 2. Here it is. Given the basic ER and relational models, which of the following is incorrect? This question was asked in Gate Computer Science in the year 2012. Option A, an attribute of an entity can have more than one value. Option B, an attribute of an entity can be composite. Option C, in a row of a relational table, an attribute can have more than one value. And option D, in a row of a relational table, an attribute can have exactly one value or a null value. Your 20 seconds starts now. Stop. So the right answer for this question is option C. In a row of a relational table, an attribute can have more than one value, which is incorrect because an attribute of an entity can have more than one value because multi-valued attributes exist. An attribute of an entity can be composite. Yes, we do have composite attributes. So in a basic ER model, option A and option B are always correct because there can be multi-valued attribute, there can be composite attributes. In fact, we have notations in order to represent these types in ER diagram. Coming to option D, in a row of a relational table, an attribute can have exactly one value or null value. This is also perfectly fine. So the right answer is, in a row of a relational table, an attribute can have more than one value is incorrect. Because in a relational table, we should not have an attribute that contains more than one value. The problem is if we have multi-valued attributes in a relation, then it leads to inconsistency and redundancy. Anyway, we have normalization techniques to overcome this. However, we cannot have more than one value in a relational table. We are done with question number two. Let's now move on to question number three. Here it is. Which one of the following is used to represent the supporting many-to-one relationship of a weak entity set in an entity relationship diagram? This question was asked in Gate Computer Science in the year 2020. Option A. Rectangles with double or bold border. Option B. Diamonds with double or bold border. Option C. Ovals that contain underlined identifier. And option D. Ovals with the double or bold border. Your 20 seconds starts now.
stop? The right answer is, it's diamonds with double or bold border. Because the question is, many to one relationships in an entity relationship diagram. So the relationships are represented with diamonds and that too for a weak entity set, it is represented with double diamond or double border. There are some conventions that uses double border. There are some conventions that uses bold in order to represent that it is a weak entity. Question number three is done. Let's move on to question number four. The question is, in ER model, why is the dominant entity and X is the subordinate entity? We need to find out which one of the following option is correct. This question was asked in ISTRO Computer Science 2018. Option A, if X is deleted, then Y is also deleted. Option B, if Y is deleted, then X is also deleted. Option C, if Y is deleted, then X is not deleted. Option D, none of the above. Your 20 seconds starts now. Stop. The right answer for this question is option B. If Y is deleted, then X is also deleted. You may be asking why. Because Y is the dominant entity and X is the subordinate entity. So, the existence of X depends on the existence of Y. If Y is deleted, ultimately, then X is also deleted because X is depending on the existence of Y. Let's see the last question. The question is, an ER model of a database consists of entity types A and B. These are connected by a relationship R, which does not have its own attribute. Under which of the following conditions can the relational table for R be merged with that of A? This question was asked in Gate Computer Science in the year 2017. The options are, option A, relation R is one to many and the participation of A in R is total. Option B, relation R is one to many and the participation of A in R is partial. Option C, relation R is many to one and the participation of A in R is total. And option D, relation R is a many to one and the participation of A in R is partial. Your 20 seconds time starts now. Stop. The right answer is option C. Relation R is many to one and the participation of A in R is total because R does not have its own attributes. Can you see here the relation R does not have its own attribute. So in this case, the participation of A in R is total. The reason is the relation R does not have any of its own attributes as mentioned in the question. So we will shortlist option A and C because here in options A and C, we can see the participation is total. Out of A and C, we will shortlist which is the right answer. The right answer here is C. The reason is for every instance of A that participates in at least some instance in R. For every instance of R, we'll be having a corresponding instance in A. Option A is one to many and option C is many to one. So the tie between one to many and many to one is now broken. So the entity set A is having many relationship with R. So obviously R can be merged with the one which has many. So here A is having the many relationship. So definitely R is going to be merged with A. So in general, a relation is merged which is on many side and if there is a total participation. Hence, this relation R can be merged with that of A. We are done with the rapid fire quiz. Please post how many right answers you got in the comment section. That's it guys. I hope the session is informative and thank you for watching.